bastards. Yeah, you swear with me one more time. And the cops will mop us up when we go out on the town. We just know on the Friday and the Saturday most of what you're going to be dealing with is drunken idiots. You thick of what? Go! People go out and get so drunk that they just want to smash each other's face in. It just breaks itself. It should be inevitable because it's coming. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock in the evening, and in West Yorkshire, people are drinking for England. What an idiot. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Sometimes you think to yourself, what do you look like? Weight feel massive. People that are quite clearly three sheets to the wind. You have a four pints. <laughs> no, you haven't had four pints. You're clearly absolutely battered. I think she's probably had too much to drink. Don't stick your fingers down your throat. Do you want to sit it up? Yeah. Come on, sit up. Just keep sticking your fingers up your throat. Come on, stop it. They're drinking three litres of cider sometimes before they even go out. And that's only cost them a pound, so they've still got the 40, 50 pound to drink on town. And I think that is now this, it's sort of this culture that people want to go out and be drunk before they even get out. How much have to drink? She wait. Do you want some books? Sorry, right. I'm already covered in stuff. Blood, vomit, anything, you name it. You name it, we've had on it. It's horrible. Let me bury your stuff, I've got more stuff all over me on. At 25, Philippa Child has already had four years of handling binge drinkers in the city centre. It's all right, I didn't touch you. It's all right. I kept away from that. Yeah. She and her partner, Chris Merrick, spend one weekend in three policing the Westgate Run. It's in Wakefield City Centre. It's the main stretch that goes through Wakefield. It's about a mile. And it's, it's quite famous. That actually, the pub where it starts, there is a sign, out says, a sign outside that says this is the start of the Westgate Run. And you have to, I think part of it is to do all the pubs up the stretch till you get to the main, the main hub. <laughs> Holding the line are 12 police officers and six city council night marshals. Oh! Man down. I'm a bit of a lean on, aren't I? Yeah, I'm a bit of a lean too. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is quite a lean. Oh, 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 oh! oh. <laughs> Conversation about the drunks. Chris will get. I've got a pregnant lady with me. Can she urinate in my in your police hat? The answer I give is, uh, would you let someone wear in your hat? Um, no. Well, there you go then. <laughs> if I swear, do I get arrested? Yeah. And then you've got some drunken idiot that comes and puts their arm around you, or asks for your phone number, or does the drunken beer goggles. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life, which you always get. Jump in, jump in. Oh, I wonder what you were going to do to me then. No, I wasn't not going to do oh, anything. Oh, OK. Yeah. Do, do I what? Do you want my telephone number? Oh, I can't love you. Can I have your number? You're lovely. You're really nice. Why are you a copper? You're too beautiful to be a copper. And I'm thinking, get lost. <laughs> what date is, does he? <laughs> He's looking for his missus. Look, he ain't got a clue where she's gone. I like to go to my wife, go to the local pub, have a few drinks and back home for a takeaway. That's my night. Oh, gosh, yeah, I like a drink. I can't say that I've not been on Westgate very, very drunk. Or I've always managed to get myself a taxi. Not being locked up. May have come close. Oh, look at that! <laughs> so I have probably looked at women and thought, oh my word, how can I judge someone when I've possibly been exactly like she was? So I do think it's very difficult to judge people because they're young. They're very young people that are going out and enjoying themselves. So as police officers, we're not there to judge them. We're just there to make sure that they have a good evening and it goes flawless for them and they get home in a cab as opposed to people smashing people's faces in and everything else. Alcohol strips away anything that you've possibly learned in the last 15 years of your life. It is like dealing with children. Although my four-year-old is significantly more uh, manageable than a an 18 or a 20 year old lad with an attitude. 
You stood there watching that people get over the road safely, don't fall, and don't start catfighting and don't start arguing or don't start being stupid. Mind your fuck off! Calm yourself down! Mentally, it's like dealing with children, but you've got to be aware that the physical side of it is that uh, they might want to stick one on you. Trist. 1077, I'm on my way. Come on, mate. If you want to cause me problems, I'm going to cause you problems. Get in a taxi and go home. What? Listen. What are you going to do, Chase? No, go away. You, my friend, are better disappear now, or she are coming. Do you understand? Right, get going. If it comes again, we're walking straight up. Guys, 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 listen up, listen up. What's happened there? Right, I was calming things down and then somebody elbowed me. What are you on about? Shut up. Listen. He's mine, mate, don't worry. Listen, you're not going to get anywhere in now tonight. The cameras are watching you. You're not going to go in. Hell no, you. I wasn't even here. Listen. No, they right. won't. Right. They were like, they were Best like. thing to do is get yourselves on because you're not going to get in anywhere. Right? I appreciate it. When we told you to back off, you all want backed off, yeah? Get your sends home. All right? Tell us about your good looks. You don't realise how draining it is yourself. You still don't switch off though, do you, for the full time you study? Yeah, yeah. Bitch t-shirt's changed it to a yellow one. Has it? Right, he's going to get locked up, I'm afraid. Where is it? Yeah, I'll I'd recognise him. Yeah, he's too drunk to give a direction to Lee's to. Right. Listen, we've always I'll tell you what we'll do, Philippa. What? We'll chuck him in a taxi. Yeah, yeah. We'll literally get out of him and put him in a taxi. That's him there on the right. I can see him here. Yeah. I think of walking away from me, pal. Where's he going? Changing your t-shirt's gonna work with me. No, right, listen. Why well, have you changed your top? Sorry, right, listen. Right, take you to a taxi. Take you to a taxi. Yeah, I'm going No, no, it's faster now, I'm telling you. No, let me just explain. We've just been looking for everybody, that's why. Now, he's changed his top for a reason, because he's trying to be clever. Good luck for my sister, mate. Rubbish. So, I'm going to my sister. Taxi. Get in a taxi. For your own safety, because you're going to be getting involved in fights. You swapped it with this lad here. Yeah, because I'll try to find my sister, Get in a taxi. He's here. Come back into town, you're getting arrested. There ain't enough room. Get, get them. Oh, oh, dear. Cheers, you Die. Oh, See you tomorrow. Come on. Come on. And that's that. I can't believe them. They think, oh, I'll change my t shirt. You're such a good disguise. Obviously, you've got to look at the grand scale of things. If we locked up everybody who swore or spat or urinated or got involved in a pushing and shoving match, within about an hour of being out on town, just about everybody on that city centre will be waiting in the cell to be booking in. Smile, smile, smile. I thought we were going to drive back here then. Claire Brown and Tony Darrick know they can't arrest every Saturday night drinker. But they do have a new power to end the troublemakers' fun and games. Come here. Stand up, side lads. I need to get him. How would you feel if that were your car? Is that your car? Put your hands up. No, put your hands down. Is it your car? I'm talking to you, don't be ignorant. Is that your car? Right, so if it's damaged, you'll be arrested. Wait a minute. Wait! Stay there! Kyle! Kyle, what? Either of you walk and you're both going in the taxi. Come across to either of you against the night, then I'll give you a direction to leave. That's like dickheads. Look! I didn't do that. I didn't do it. I didn't even do it. Give him a direction. Please. Oh, I didn't even do that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just me. Yeah, we don't matter. Right, this is 
it's called the direction to leave. What that means is when I finish this, you see these, you're getting in one of them and I'm going to wave you off. What? I'm getting in. You're getting in a cab. If I see you on town again, you're locked up. What? It's just easier to get them out of Wakefield then and there than it is to start taking chances. And when you start taking chances, to some degree you're playing Russian roulette, aren't you? Because at the end of the night, you've got to go home and think, I knew that was going to happen. But I didn't do anything about it. It's basically a leaflet that says you're banned. It gives you a map of the area that you're banned from on the back. And it says that you have to leave town immediately. Oh, right, immediately. So it's easier to nip it in the bud earlier than give these people chances because they will take and take and take, but yet they'll still go on to cause disorder. You do know I'm not going to leave town. Right, so if you're arrested then, tell me yeah, yeah. then. Right, give him his leave for him, we'll watch him. If you don't leave immediately, then you go into custody. Cheers. You're welcome. Have a good night. In your taxi. Yeah, it does spoil the party, but rather than be arrested and taking him off the street, we give him that and basically the opportunity to leave the area. For Westgate, that's, a, that's such a useful tool because you tend to know who are going to be your troublemakers because you keep seeing them and you keep having to speak to them. And when you keep having to speak to people, then it's time for them to go. Marshall's had dealings with him, he does fight. Is it? Yes. Where's he gone? I don't know. Where's he gone, Phil? Where's he gone? I don't know. I literally turned to speak to him and he's gone. As a child, what were you watching on TV? Who was your cop that, who, that you modelled yourself on? I've got a good relationship with one of my colleagues on my team. And I've nicknamed us both Cagney and Lacey. No, not Cagney and Lacey. Charlie's Angels. So who's who? Cagney, me, Lacey, t'other one. <laughs> Charlie's Angels. That was my inspiration. I just need a handbag and a gun, really, don't I? And then I'm sorted. <laughs> Can I have a van down, please, to uh, Market Street outside Voodoo for 112? We've watched you on CCTV. You've attempted to get in Viva. I tried. They've said no. <laughs> and then you've gone into Voodoo at the back. You can't blame me for trying, though. Well, we can't blame you for trying, but unfortunately this is why you're here with us now. Yeah, I don't mind. Right, you can go now. It's his lucky night. You need to be a very good boy tonight. A very, very good boy. Because we'll be watching you. He's released without charge and given more time to leave the city centre. Cheers. See you later. Wakefield Police Station needs to save its limited custody space for more serious offenders. There's a girl over there that's come out in sparkly knickers. Oh, how old is she? About 50? There were nothing in Wakefield. Nothing. You see her ass cheeks. Just go and drop something. <laughs> drop something in front of her. Yeah. Dresses that need constantly pulling down. Dresses that need constantly pulling up. The skirts are very short and on the bums they have stop search for a police officer and for an air hostess you have cockpit. Oh, put it away. Go on, clear off. VMs, 
No mates, no mirrors, no mother. No one to tell you that you really shouldn't be wearing that outfit because it really doesn't suit you or you're slightly too big on the plump side. People coming to do the hen do's and the stag nights, all fancy dress, right from Ann Summers right up to Hulk Hogan's. Who's Hulk Hogan? Um, Is he a wrestler? I'm not sure. No. Because these were Hulks. As these in... Big green, incredible Hulks. Right? Is, it, is Hulks the ones off the sweet corn tin? It's certainly changing. I'll tell you what it is. People are absolutely hard. I can just feel it's gone. I know. We're working for it for so long now. Um, I can sense when the mood changes. And as soon as I feel that change, I'm a lot more heightened, you know, to what's going on. It's that level where people are, you know, it's either going home or staying out a bit longer and they've got that to that level of intoxication where they could just flip over. Whoa, what's going off in there? We're on the camera. Oh, why am I getting dragged out of the Yeah, I know, I know. See? Listen, you've been spoken to already. Exactly. Come on out. Whoa. Come on out. He's smart Come on out. Come on out. Come out. Right, I don't care. I'm ordering something. I don't care. Right, come down here, I don't wait. Come down here, because twice I've spoken to you now. Don't even think about it, pal. Don't even think about it. Right, twice. Don't spit blood in my face. Don't spit blood in my face. Right, what's going off? I've gone there, I want a pizza and he's smart me. No, we've had a report about you going in there and pointing fingers at people. Come on, let's go home, yeah? Where do you live? I live in Newcastle, mate. Right, where are you stopping tonight? Where are you stopping tonight? Because you're not stopping in Wakefield City Centre, you're going. I'll go on there, no, I'll have yeah. pizza, I guess, man. No, you're not going, no, no, you've been causing grief. Go away, fella. I'm going there, You're not going in there. No, you're not going in there. Has he spat blood in my face? Yeah, no, I spat blood all over me. I'm not being funny, but... Fella, I'm not in Chester, you. You're lucky not to sleep, mate. Go away. I'll tell you what it is. If it weren't for uniform, you'd be not out. No, I ain't fella, it won't him. It won't him. Fella, you're really starting to push my buttons now. You yeah. really are starting to push my buttons. Uh, Go away. I am sick to death of telling you. Go. No, see, you fucking start. spit at me. Yeah, I didn't spit at you. Whoa, whoa. You spat I'm straight at me, you man. dirty get. You're locked up for yeah. assault, fella. Assault? Yes, you are. Oh, what? Turnover. Whoa. Yeah. Just spat straight at me. Right. Get up. Right. Oh. It's spitting at me, you dirty sod. Get your head down there, don't you even think of spitting? And then he said, suck my cock, I think he said as well. Get up. Keep him down. Yeah. You're not telling me, you're not telling me to suck your cock. Because if A doesn't flog me bolt, mate. Yeah. I've always got the arm in me. Get in. Go on. You just turned around and went and sucked my cock and spat on the floor, the dirty get. Sorry, but I'm not having that. Shut your mouth! I ain't just what you're gonna say. You're a dirty, disgusting individual. Oh, oh, so what? No. Spit more than this, man. Ah, uh, what am I? So shit on camera. Salt for now. So shit. <laughs> it's hilarious, this lad. He's a charmer. I'm allowed to do what I want. Health and safety, I'm allowed to do what the fuck I want. Will you do what the fuck I want Stop here? Stop spitting. I'm not spitting on you. I'm not spitting on you. Officer, right? Exactly, mate. Because you. What do you know what? Stop me. Fuck you. I got pierced in my face for now. Yeah. Are you arresting me, man? That in my fence. Yeah. Oh. Right, see you later. Oh. You were ashamed and disgraced in yeah, uniform. Right. You've got to think about spitting. It's just not nice as it went from. Yeah. The bit that isn't easy is the queuing up in custody. 
um, if you were a management consultant and you were doing all your sort of uh, flow diagrams about the process, it just comes to custody and stops. And then one prisoner at one time, and that's it. He's very angry, Sergeant. The Incredible Hulk has been arrested on suspicion of assault. The man claiming to be his victim is waiting at the front desk to give a statement. Hi, is it Alex? Alex, we've got someone to take a statement from you, but it's going to be another hour. An hour? Mm. See, this is what I mean. What do you mean? What? A joke. What, what's, what why a joke. is it a joke? An hour, just for someone to take a statement. You've been yeah. on Wakefield, you can see how busy it is. You can see the officers are deployed on Wakefield. Do you know what? A joke. Come to the front line where I serve six months at a time and see how long the Taliban wait. Right. It's fight. not about the army. What, what joke? So you're prepared to wait for an hour? Yeah. Oh, well, I have okay. to wait for an hour. It's an okay, then. Are you going to calm down? Do no, no. Because to me, the way you're acting trouble. at the moment, you're not but, fit enough to give a statement. Yeah, fit enough to give a statement. Fit enough. A joker. How much pepsi drink tonight would you say? Oh, right here, man. Oh, right here. Oh, right here. Oh, right here. That's the worst question you can ever ask me about the laws. Right. We've got two choices. No choices. It's a case of I've here to make a statement because I've been assaulted, it, and either that or I'm oh, pressurised against you guys for wasting my time. Because at the end of the day, you can honestly, in all honesty, on, what have ahead. I done? We're asking you to stop pressing the buzzer and stop ringing that phone because otherwise you're going to get. I've been as well. assaulted. It won't lock me up then. I've been assaulted, and you're treating me as the criminal, as if I'm the person. No, no, who's Alex, done Alex, we've come to you and we've been extremely polite. We've given you time right. scales and time right. limits. Uh -huh. Can you turn your telephone off? Does it bother you? Is it, is it against the law to have it on? That's not right. That's right. Okay. Do you know what, Alex? I'm arresting you for drunk and disorderly. I've had enough of listening to you. You've been asking for this all night. No, I've been asking to make a statement. Yeah, well, you won't be making a statement now for some time. That's fair enough. Respect for the police seems to have gone a long time ago. I don't exactly know what happened. Um, when you speak to the older generation of officers, the, the respect was there, but some point along the line, the respect's been lost. It's, Look at my it's nose. been like this constantly. My nose is broken. I need medical assistance, and I would like to make my statement so I can go to the hospital. What's your first name? Alex. Alex. Regarding your medical attention, we can sort out the doctor coming to the station to have a look at your nose. You just come back for a second, mate. You can you sit down. I feel dizzy. Eat my arse. I feel dizzy. I feel ill. I've been asking for medical treatment since I got here. Who did you ask for medical no. treatment? Oh, I, don't. I actually feel quite ill, to be honest. Alex, if it looks like it's a medical emergency, we'll be in an ambulance for you. Yourself has been white and British, or any other ethnic background? Uh, I'm kind of like darker than white. I don't know, kind of mediocre brown. I'll put you down as any other. Have you got any special dietary needs? Um, Magic when you feel them. Okay. You're having to think that carefully. Yeah, Mate, probably honestly, not. You no. Know, it depends, because like, I'm not a big fan on cheese. Yeah, the idea is to make sure that you're not going to have like an allergic reaction. Well, see, I don't eat cheese, so I don't know. I could be allergic to cheese, but I don't honestly know. Well, we'll put you down for no cheese. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Alex, uh, Alex, Alex, Alex. It just goes to show that, obviously, what did actually happen with him and Incredible Hulk prior to us arriving, I'll, I'll never know. The amount of times you've, you've arrested somebody for an assault or a drunken disorder or a public order offence and you've gone back to the cells and you'd put, you'd put your mum's wage on that they're well known to the police and they check them on the system and they've never been arrested before and you think this behaviour is, is the kind of behaviour that somebody who's well known to the police would come out with. What's made them do that? 
there are drinks promotions on everywhere. It might be Wicked's, it might be bottles of Beck's, shots for a pound, you know, you can double up for one pound fifty, that sort of thing. The irresponsible drinks promotions in nightclubs. There's legislation, you know, it's an offence to serve a drunk person. It is an offence and it's an offence to buy a drink when you're drunk. The most broken law in the land. It is, because I've broken the, I've asked for somebody to break the law for me because I've been drunk and gone to a bar and said I'll have another pint please and they've gone, oh right, fine, no problem, there you go. Most of the drinkers are emerging from the clubs, hungry and ready to call it a night. People are taking care of the hair and the lipstick and the, the makeup and the heels, and then obviously the end of the night they've got no heels on, makeup's up one side at face, hair's just stuck up with kebab and pizza and such like. Pair with boobs. So there's half a chance of me enjoying a pint of Stella Artois at half past four. Is that how you unwind after a long night, is it? Yeah, yeah I've got this visualisation in my head of a, uh, a very, very, very cold can of Stella in the fridge. I can just, I can think of it now, it's got, you know those, when you take it out of the fridge, it warms up a bit, you get that little the droplets that go down the side, I just keep thinking about those droplets going down the side. <laughs> you just sit in the room, no telly or music or anything, just having a quiet drink, it's very relaxing. I'm just getting a bit irate, I don't know if that's what's going off or they're just arguing about where they're going next. As often happens on a Saturday night, all 15 cells in Wakefield custody are full. Anyone locked up now will be driven to other police stations in West Yorkshire. Just walk sensibly, all right? I can't walk! Yes, when it's walk. Like that. A young woman is arrested for being drunk and disorderly. Girlfriend, Her boyfriend and his mate are not happy about it. She's not going to a Wakefield police station because right. there is no room. Yeah, yeah? She's Please off to Leeds Bridewell more Police men squeezing her neck from out of town. It's got nothing to do with you. Not a chance, man. You can leave. Uh, unless you're mind-bogglingly stupid, you can, you can walk away. Send them fuck all, bro. Stop swearing. Yeah? I swear to that. You have to do that. I wasn't there, mate. I don't know. I wasn't there. Cameras, yeah? You cameras, yeah? All these bastards. Yeah, you swear to me. Look, one more time. You now. swear one more time and you are arrested. Do you understand? Man, yeah. Get away. Yeah, do you understand? Whatever, whatever, right. Whatever, Go man. away. Go over there and disappear. I'm you have to take a hard stance. Going back to when I was 17, 18, I would never dream of swearing at a police officer. I'd be petrified at swearing a police officer. Why do people want to do that? People think it's because it's just words, it doesn't matter. But the words that you choose are just showing your nature, in my opinion, of how aggressive you're feeling inside. That's tight! Oi! Wakey coppers, yeah! Wakey coppers a poo! No swearing, wakey coppers are poo! Wakey coppers can't do poo. nothing! Nothing at all! Pull that. Summer. Put it on fucking... Right, you're nicked. Yeah, I'm going with you. You're nicked. I'm nicked as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it. You started it, boys. Go on your butt now! On your butt now! On your butt now! Just relax that. Just relax that. Right. You're Nick for assault, my friend. Assault police officer. Right, Nick him D and D and obstruct police. There you go, son. Right. Get up. I can't believe it's no nuts. No, I can't either. Hey, there you look my bird up for no. All right. Get in and shut up. It's a shit. Yeah, just got me right, right in the nose. You alright? Yeah, yeah. I feel dizzy around me. You alright? Yeah, right in the nose. You broke your nose? No, it's not bleeding, it's just no, really right. hurt. Just knocked it, you alright? Yeah, yeah, fine. Right. He's at the minute, he's calm, so... Uh... Right, bro. 
Yeah, it's, uh... Where's my hat? Stupid idiot. <laughs> Fucking prick. You got another vehicle for him? No. In fact, he can go in back. He can go in here. No, he can go in, he can go in cage. cage. Oh, yeah. Put two numb nuts together. <laughs> you alright, Phil? Yeah, yeah. What happened? Did you knock it in face? He, what did he do? Swing his arm? He got me right in my nose. Punched you? No, I just swung out. Ah, well, he's been not, he's locked up for assault as well. I'm quite zero tolerant anyway on people. Each individual officer has their own point of when they're going to arrest, when they're not going to arrest. Mine might be quicker than some, some might be even quicker than me. But, yeah, sometimes you do, you do lose your temper with people. Not to the point where you're going to hit them or anything like that, but it's like, enough's enough. I've, I've taken enough of your abuse now, and you're, you're going to get locked up. I've been on duty since right, 6 o'clock, no, and I'm acted off. I'm properly acted off. I'd so be clear acting away. If I worked his hours, man, I'd be pissed off. Sorry, come on. You're pushing me, right? Sorry. You're making him push yeah. me. Go away. You're pushing me, you would him push me. He's going to be pissed off with both of you. Sorry, mate. Um, sorry. Right, go. Boys, we're off. Come on. Who are you? I want you here. Absolutely asshole. Absolutely asshole. You all right? In the common sense switch gets turned off when they get to about seven pints of lager. They just want to have an argument with us, an argument that they're not going to win. And it's just the same week in, week out. I didn't want to cause trouble. It's like a prison. It's hard in here. The first time for everything in the world. But people think we take it personal with them, but we don't. I'm not really bothered who they are. If they commit the offence in front of us, then they have, they have to be dealt with, they have to be punished. Can you go, mate? Uh, Jump yourself in there. How much are the people just listen to us and walk away? We don't really want to fight, we just want to go home at the end of the day. Without a bruise and without a so, scratch. Well, that's it, I mean, they can call us all the... Names under all the, the names sun. All the names under the sun. We touch them. Oh, you've touched me? Yeah. You can't touch me. No. And we get nothing but grief and abuse and we don't we can't say anything back can we nope we just have to remain professional the incredible hulk admitted to assault and received a caution his victim was given an 80 pound fixed penalty for being drunk and disorderly The former couple arrested for a fray were each given a caution. The young man who hit out while being arrested pleaded guilty to being drunk and disorderly. He received a caution for assaulting a police officer. His friend pleaded guilty to a Section 5 public order offence. He was given a conditional discharge for nine months. The man arrested after spitting pleaded guilty to being drunk and disorderly. He was fined £200 and ordered to pay £85 costs. The reason why people go out and get drunk, it's for society to deal with. Why people go out and get absolutely bollocks is is uh, it's not for the police to, to deal with that's for society that's for government that's for families to produce a person that fits into society and doesn't kick and scream at it and doesn't want to get drunk I don't think there's a long-term solution at the moment 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't think I get paid enough money to uh, to come out with that solution. Really, I don't think there is one. To be fair, society's changed. It's not going to change back. They're not going to change the licensing and make sure all the bars close at eleven o'clock. But people are going to lose their jobs if they do that. It's only going to get worse. I really don't see a solution to what is actually going on at the moment.